Dude, I have a typo in my tweet. Every single time, I swear to God. I bought this book for- I bought this for book for stream. <laughs> Should I just delete it? I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna repost it. I feel so stupid. I'm reposting it. Don't like the old tweet. Jesus Christ. Deleting. I swear, every single one. I bought this for book. Oh my god. Also, good afternoon. Phone sound was on. Okay, I don't know why this song is so soft. I don't like it. Be louder. Sorry, that was my phone. I got really mad. Can face cam on in a minute? Good afternoon, good evening. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 1.30, I'm a little bit late. Because I was filming bits for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday streams. Because some of the concepts have bits that I think would be better pre-filmed. So I was working on that this morning and I had to go to the bank. And I always forget how busy it is out in public before holiday. Because, in my opinion, Christmas is just another day. You know, we don't celebrate, we don't do anything crazy. My sister might have to work on Christmas, but she gets double time. So she'd be making like $40 an hour. Crazy! She makes 20 right now. Also, <laughs> I didn't want to do a loud stream today because she's sleeping. Because she doesn't have a set schedule yet. So, I felt so bad yesterday. She was on call, so she had to go to work from like 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., like the full swing shift. And I think she has to do that again today, but I don't know. So she's sleeping. I'm not going to bother her. So no, no getting angry. We're doing a calm, chill Christmas book or Christmas coloring book stream today. Also, yes, this is my festive skin. 
I have a hat on. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I might do one page. I got about three hours to stream today. Because I, I, gotta, I gotta edit the footage that I filmed earlier, so... This is the book that I have. I got this from Winko. I think it was... $15. Um, exclamation pens in chat. Exclamation point book. This is the... What's it actually called? You know, gotta give credit to the artist. This is the Let's Color Christmas First Edition by Future Publishing Limited Edition. This is a rare coloring book. When I saw it on Winko, there was only one. So this might have been a reject. It was already, you can kind of see, it's kind of like torn a little on the bottom. I did not do that. A child probably grabbed it off the shelf and their mom told them to put it back. So that was not me. This is not a PSA 10 coloring book, unfortunately. So there is 45 pages in this. Stream ends when I finish the whole book. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Wait, that would be... That would be a crazy... Okay. One of my long-term art goals is to, like, release a coloring book. That is, like, 25 pages. What if that comes out? Stream ends, stream ends when I color the whole coloring book. I think that would be so funny. I don't know. I would... My hands would die. But then you guys would see all the illustrations. Wait, I think this is a bad idea. Okay. Let's get started. So, I'm gonna be using my possibly Tombos, my Cali Arts. I also have these new pen mitt brush pens. They have a brush and a fine point tip. I saw these on TikTok. I got like 10 videos in a row promoting these. They're like, I was not sponsored to say this, but buy this now. So I found it on Amazon for like a dollar cheaper than it was on the TikTok shop. And this is the only like TikTok shop product that I've fallen for. Every, all the other gadgets, like I don't need. But these pens, they color like decently. The only thing is similar to Copics, you have to color in a consistent stroke. You can't do lines like this. Otherwise, you get an uneven look. Let me let me demonstrate. So when you're coloring with... Oh, this is really zoomed in, sorry. <laughs> when you're coloring with these markers, you have to do... Let me demonstrate. Use the side of the brush to do a continuous line like that. Normally how people color... This is my middle finger, sorry. I'm sorry. Normally when people color, they do stroke lift up stroke lift up but you can see how it's not it's less opaque and you can see the overlap in lines so whenever you color don't use the tip of the brush like a dummy use the side and then you do one continuous up and down motion so whenever you lift up your pen that's when you get the streakies the only thing is whenever you color this way it uses a lot of ink so you kind of go through the pins relatively quickly, but I think this set was $15, so nothing too bad. Okay, don't show feet. Okay, good. I have figured out a better angle for this art POV. Now when I zoom out, this is at um, 18. My lens is 18 to 180. Fully zoomed out, now I will never show feet. I'm sorry, fans. Okay. I don't know what page to do. They're all kind of cute. Let's read the intro. Well, welcome! The holiday season provides us with an ideal opportunity to reflect and escape the stresses of everyday life. Wait, no it doesn't. It makes it like so much more stressful. They're gaslighting me. However, in the lead up to that delightful time- oh. <laughs> now- now they're like getting morbid. However, in the lead-up to that delightful time, work crunch, darker weather, and the pressure of gift buying can get to us all. And it can be hard to find ways to decompress and dewind. This is where this bookazine comes in. The simple act of coloring can be used as meditative therapy and help you de-stress and help refresh and revive your mind. In Let's Color Christmas, you'll find a festive feast of Yuletide-themed designs to customize. Wait, 
The customize has an S. I thought it had a Z. Or is that a UK thing? I don't know. They spell things funny. So why not give it a try? Settle down with a nice hot drink and a playlist of your favorite Christmas tunes and get coloring. We got Christmas music. We got Nintendo. And I want to do these in order because I don't like some of the illustrations. They're like very normy. Ooh, this one kind of goes crazy. Okay, Santa looks creepy. I don't like it. He just snowflakes. Oh, I thought these were boots. They're skates. What I do like about coloring books is a lot of the designs. This one can go kind of crazy. I think I like this one. The thing with coloring books is they're meant to look like Zen Doodles. Wait, this one's crazy. I like this one. I love ones that have a lot of fine detail because you have to be precise. And it shows skill. Because coloring can be a very mundane thing. But the more complex ones, I think, are... Like, they feel more adult. Okay, I'm not going to show all of them, because I don't want to be accused of ripping. Ooh, I like that one. I like things that have floral elements a lot. Also, I think it's interesting when you work with coloring books, like line art, you get to work with different widths and see how this is filled and filled in. Also has like a varied line width on the shoes, it gives it a bit more weight, like you see in um, manga or coloring books. I wonder what the target demographic for this book is. I assume it's like middle-aged white woman. Which I am not, I'd like to clarify. Oh, see, look, this one. Varied line lines on the cookies. This one as well. I think this is the best composition-wise. I do wish this was a spiral book. I hate soft covered books. They bend too easily. Oh, there's 46? Oh, wow. Dude, that's so funny. They marked it as... Over 45 designs, and they have 46. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, I think I want to do this one. Wait, the pages don't tear out. That's so dumb. Like, the whole point is to have them tear out. Okay, I'm stalling. I'm gonna start coloring. Pro Strat, it doesn't matter if you're not using Sharpies. Put a paper underneath. That way your, your pens have a little bit of cushion. Should I paint the trees green or just like any color? I should do green, huh? Okay, so I whenever I st okay, I take coloring books way too seriously. Wait, haha, <laughs> you can't see my face. Um, whenever I I work on coloring books, like I have to look at the com composition as a whole whenever I'm picking out colors. So I think what I want to do is for every tree type do a different type of green and then have the baubles on the tree be silver or gold colored and then the presence in the background just be like any color that way it looks kind of cohesive that's my plan boys the plan is simple I'm gonna swatch some of the colors I have in my book. I don't know why I got these out. I just took them out for the for the gram. Oh, this is like too blue. I mean, actually, no, this one's fine. This one's fine. Yeah, it's similar enough to the evergreen. Wow, these are so. Okay, these are pretty decent. 
for like shitty pens. Okay. These are all the greens that I have in this set. So since the trees have some are solid, like this round one, and some are lines, the ones that have lines I'm gonna alternate the two correlating colors. Okay, whenever I color in a book, I don't do it any sort of order. But since I'm doing matching color schemes on similar trees, I'm gonna color it tree by tree. Okay, so matching colors would be these two greens. So this one is a fish skin, so I'm gonna do alternating rings. Should I use the fine point? Well, the fine point is like a bit too fine. It's only if you're gonna do like very, very small detail. Dude, I might, <laughs> I might need a magnifying glass. Dude, we went to a ramen place for dinner last night. It was legit the best ramen I've ever had, and it was at a ball. Like, it was some chain place, but it was so good. My sister said it legit tasted, like, super close to ramen she's had in Japan. Which is crazy to me. It's like, who do they keep locked up in the kitchen? Okay, some of the scales don't line up properly. Because I got... Oh, I forgot what it was called. It was like... I almost said katana. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. It was ha... Hakama. No. Hakama is a... It's something. It's like a shirt. Formal. It's like a semi-formal shirt wear. I forgot what it was called. But it was pork belly? Holy moly. It was the softest, most melt-in-your-mouth pork belly I've ever had. I'm not gonna say the chain name, because I think it's a Washington-only chain, so no narcs. But legit, the best thing I've ever had in my goddamn life. Okay, this is come Wait, do I need to get a live split on screen? <laughs> I'll do coloring book page any percent. All the light green is down. Now we do medium. Well, medium green. make coloring books. I wonder what type of paper it is. 
Because it's not copy paper and it's not cardstock. It's like a weird in between. Because some papers hold too much pigment. And that's why they look kind of streaky no matter what material you use. Like the cardstock I have. I got like some of the heavier weight because I wanted it to be super thick. But everything looks super streaky on it. I think it's because a lot of the ink sits on the top rather than it being absorbed. Or maybe the opposite. I, I have no clue what I'm talking about. I have a science degree, not an art degree, technically. Wait, this is actually, like, so satisfying. <laughs> Wait, I just re realized, I hope these pens don't bleed. Like, I haven't tested that out yet. Because a big problem I have whenever I do any art, like, I press really hard, so that I, I press really hard with, with my wrist on the paper. So that's, like, why I can't do graphite or charcoal. It would be a mess. Okay, I colored a little bit out of the lines. Look. Look. It's my first throw of the day. Oh well. That's why I tend to prefer the more intricate coloring pages, because it's a lot harder to see if you mess up, because there's just too much detail. Another throw, dude. Actually, I've been up since five. <laughs> I've been doing errands and I was filming earlier. We're gonna blame that. But then, like, I know I blame, like, oh, I didn't sleep, Sag, but I need to take accountability for my actions. I can't keep making excuses. Because excuses are for losers. And that is a reference to a survivor clip that I saw live like when i was nine i don't remember what survivor season i don't remember which cast member it was but my mom my sister and i watched that episode live and then any time my sister or i would make an excuse no matter how like valid or silly my mom would be like excuses are for losers so in actuality i hate that phrase but now i'm like reclaiming it Okay, the final stroke. Yo! First tree done, everybody. Okay, I think the next tree with the same pattern is here. There's only... Well, there is one, two, three with this pattern. Get back to work. No time off task, I work for Amazon. This is actually, like, really soothing. <laughs> when I took therapy last year, don't worry, I'm gonna re-enroll. One of the suggestions my therapist had, because she's like, Oh, you like art? You should try art therapy. It was basically just the concept of doing, like, just, like, basic art activities by yourself, or doing art that is, like, where you kind of like redraw your trauma. <laughs> I didn't do that one. I did coloring books. 
Because, you know, I wasn't ready for the trauma shit. Um. Anyway. Because I did virtual therapy, so I did, like, phone calls. But at the clinic I was assigned to, they had, like, bi-weekly painting classes for their clients to do. And that was kind of cool. This tip is not feathering, but I can see it's not as pointy. I can feel it. halfway through with the tree not the page <laughs> Imagine. Um, coloring the book page any percent what would the like live splits be even would it be like trees presents bubbles okay <laughs> I, I started editing yesterday's stream the tree review and the reason why I say baubles over, like, ornaments, or B-A-double-L-S, is because I don't want to say B-A-double-S all the time. I don't want clippers. You know, I'm scared. I'm legit scared of, like, somebody making an AI voice of me. And not, like, now. I mean, like, in a year or two. And not just fans. Just, like, anybody. I'm scared of, like, the scammers mimicking my voice. And them getting my cadence on how to say B A double S perfectly. That is legit my fear. Because you know, everybody's getting scammed by callers now. Like, I know the ones that are popping off are the people who pretend to be your bank. Unless you actively called your bank, do not give anybody on the phone your personal information. Or access codes, because what they'll do is they'll say, oh, I'm from your bank. Your card got compromised. So in order to verify your account over the phone, I'm going to text you a code, and you have to tell me the code to verify that it's actually you. But what it actually is, the hackers, like, find a way to access your account through that code, so it compromises all of your accounts. I mean, I've just seen a few TikToks, so, like, it has to be real, right? But TLDR, anytime you get a call from any service, do not give them any information. Only give information if you actively call the number. And it has to be like the official number of the service provider. Like, I don't pick up the phone anymore. If They just leave a voicemail. If it's important, leave a voicemail. And like, I do have a business phone number, which is like, public but like on the down low because for the website depending on what state you live in there's like different rules so if you like sell product in certain states like you have to have a public phone number which is like ew so like anytime somebody gets an invoice i have to put a phone number which i have a private number set aside for that um so but i don't have a voicemail set up for it <laughs> So the worst somebody could do would just be texting it. But then I can easily block. So I haven't had any issues so far. But I still think it's good to be proactive in that sense. Because you know what? You never know when you're going to get like some psycho. Like in real life or online. You know, just in general, like people get stalked. So you just, just be careful. Also, you can also be careful by following the channel. Yes, I'm a real person. I'm not a robot. If you like what you've seen... Or if you think I'm funny, click the follow button. It's free. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. Can we hit our daily goal? Wait, where, where's my finger? Can we hit our goal? Smile. Wait, how how much how far am I in the speed run? I'm like 20 minutes in. 
I said I, I have three hours. My goal is to finish this whole page in three hours. I think it's doable. Now, I'm very fast at coloring. I was really good at kindergarten. Um, editor, put like a, a timer on screen. <laughs> Dude, the editor bit is so stupid because I edit my own stuff. So like, when I'm like, editor, put this on screen. I'm like, shit. Me, like a week later, shit. I have to do so much extra work. Like in the uh, Mario Wonder, the jump, jump, jump video, I was like, editor, put a screenshot here. And I moved my hand. So I had to move the image so it landed on my hand the whole time. I mean, it was easy. Like, it wasn't a super fluid edit. Because you just have to make keyframes and then move the position of the keyframe to make it look like it's moving. Okay, why is it focusing on my hand now? For once, the camera, like, works. Oh wait, maybe I should do red bubbles on the trees. No, some of like garlands. Ooh, maybe red bobbles? And then gold trim that I can use with the Sakura gel pens. I'll do that. Red bobbles. And then if they have trim, do gold. If I ever get famous, I want to have a two cam setup and then a mic, just like a, a mini mic on the pen. That way you can hear the little. Tch -tch 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 -tch. That way this could be like legit ASMR. Wait, can I add ASMR to the tags? I already have 10 tags. What should I take off? Who's searching peace in 17? Let's do ASMR. <laughs> Officially adding ASMR to the tags, everybody. It's done. Okay, soundtrack change? We're gonna listen to Florence. Such a pretty game. I know this is not Christmas, but it's like, it, it's close enough. And what's nice is that the whole game soundtrack is copyright free. Halfway done with this tree, not too bad. Usually what I do too, whenever I work for long periods of time, I get a, a gnarly blister here on my ring finger because that's where I rest my pens. So pro strat, put a band-aid before, <laughs> I'll put a band-aid on now. Put a band-aid on before you get the blister. band-aid twitch staff if you're seeing this there's no blood it's just my nail polish you put the band-aid right where your pen lays i know people wear like the wrist braces or the little slip-on gloves but i don't like using those because then it's harder for me to grip the utensil as a whole if it's covering my whole hand back to work Because if I put the bandit on only one finger, then it restricts the movement of only that finger, not my whole hand. Okay, 
It's just now sinking in how long this will take. I bought this coloring book at the beginning of the month and I was planning to do a page a day. Good thing I didn't do that. I mean, I would have gotten more hours in, but... I think doing an this every day would have been bad for my wrist. Wait, if it <laughs> if it took me this long to do two trees, the idea of stream ends when I colored the whole coloring book, that would be like a subathon. Wait, wait. Write that down. That's actually good. Stream ends when I sell a hundred books, or when I finish the book. <laughs> See, I have all these ideas, I just need, like, I need the funds. And the motivation. Because, you know, being mentally ill is an L. Mentally ill? More like mentally L. Okay, that was actually good. I think I came up with my first ever original joke. A final stroke on this tree, and it's done. Two trees done. Okay, this illustration is weird. Because see how there's two sections that have a lot of black ink right here? Why'd they do that? That looks so out of place. Have that one bow colored in, that looks bad. I'm sorry, it looks bad. Illustrator, do better. Okay, final tree with this design, bottom right. I don't have a lot of space in my desk.
almost done with the light green. The light green is done. You have a little tiny fiber on the pen. Got it. You have to be mindful because it will bleed. Surprising me, surprisingly, my left arm is more sore than my right. It's because when I work, I lean on my left. I don't know how people can like sit up straight and draw. Like I'm, I'm like a gremlin crouched over my desk. It's probably because my vision's bad. I gotta get really up on the paper to see. Like I'm like, I'm like less than six inches away. Okay, the tip on the screen is getting kind of bent already. Not a good sign. Haven't done that much coloring with it. percent three trees are done oh wait they're like in a tile 35 minutes <sighs> oh no 
Um. Okay. I don't have any pigment on my wrist, though. That's good. Ooh. Get back to work. No more time off task. Let's see. I'm gonna swatch some of the reds. I'm gonna get the lightest and the darkest red. I'm not gonna do maroon. Okay, it's not too subtle of a difference. This one is this one's more orangey, but it's still red. So I'm gonna set those aside for later. I want Whenever I do a color book, I like to do all the same color at once. I don't like to move around. Next. Let us do this one. Now I'm gonna do... Oh, there's no pattern besides... Oh wait, I guess that that's kind of... That's, that's not a garland. It's like showing the layering of the leaves. Let's do the two medium greens. Okay, when I color larger sections, I usually do the border. And then the side. Oops, you didn't even see that. Okay. Whenever I color large sections, I usually do the border. And then the intersections, that way I can go a little bit crazy. Ta-da. Now the fun part about using brush tip pens is instead of holding it up if you're using a fine liner, the way you manipulate and hold the actual brush, you can easily get inside the hard reach areas. It's kind of hard to communicate unless you like have the brush in your hand. But that's also a similar strategy how you get like thin and thick strokes with a brush. I think it's kind of funny how the camera will focus and then defocus because it's confused on what to focus on, the page or the pen. And it reminds me of like the TikTok videos where it's like intentionally the filter where it's supposed to be blurry for like 30 seconds and it reveals at the end. We'll just say it's intentional. Okay, I'm having a problem. <laughs> Whenever I like do things that focus too much on my near sight, my eyes bug out. It's... Oh, it's related to my big brain thing. It's basically where your eyes will like... It looks like this for me sometimes. Like my vision will dart rapidly. Like legit, that's what it looks like. And it'll happen throughout the day or whenever I'm like straining my eyes too much. And apparently... 40% of people who have a Chiari 1 malformation have the eye thing. Because it's related to eye strain and, like, your nervous system. So my eyes are gonna be fucked in, like, a year. 
But it's okay, I can maybe get surgery, smile. Guys, with your subscription, you can pay for my surgery. Click subscribe now. <laughs> Dude, it is really sad how people have to, like, do GoFundMe campaigns for, like, cancer treatment. That to me is psychotic. Like, for treatment that can potentially save your life, why is that not covered? I don't get it. Okay, dark green is filled in. Or I guess that's medium dark green. This is medium light green. Very subtle difference. But it's still a different shade. Very nice. First tree done. Where's the next one? Oh, I got Aki. I'm gonna do the light medium green first. Does a strut when you're coloring with any marker? You always do the lighter colors first because you don't know if the pigment will pick up on the next marker. So you don't want to do like yellow after you color with black. Because then the black pigment could pick up in the yellow marker and then you'll stain your marker. Wait, some of these trees have trunks, I just realized. Like this one. That's a trunk. And this is the trunk right here. I thought these were just floating trees.
second tree done. Now there's... Oh, there's so many of this one. There's three left. I was trying to keep my hair down all day. I can't do it anymore. It's going in a bun. I keep playing with it. Even though buns, like, ruin your hair. Because when you wrap, like, the ends of your hair against each other, it makes it more brittle. So it makes the, the ends of your hair really weak. You know who else is weak? The non-subs. Because, <laughs> guys, we're an hour into stream. How far am I? Shit. <laughs> three hours. I can do this in three hours. So, we're an hour into stream. It's time for me to run an ad. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Also, until the end of the year, all new tier ones or recurring subs are up to 25% off. Pog, subscribe today. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Talking about water, I'm gonna get some water. Delicioso. Back to work. I work for Amazon. No time off task. decision welcome in can we get some yo's welcome in man as soon as i clock in i get an ad l If you can hear it, tell me when you can hear me. Oh wait, you can't hear me. <laughs> you know, it's just the training you gotta do. It's the meeting. Sub goal met? Who subscribed? Tell me who did it. Who did it? But thank you. Sub goal met. Pog. <laughs> I skipped training. Let's go. Did you subscribe? Ain't no way. Thank you, X Decision. I skipped training. <laughs> but thank you. How'd you subscribe so I can write it in the journal at the end of stream? I appreciate it. I did. Oh, there it is. <laughs> thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Can we get some Wex decisions in chat? Thank you. Did you get the discount? I hope you did. I kind of want to lean into the work meta because like some people have the emote where it's like the streamer name and then business and it's them like in a suit. I think that could be kind of funny as an emote because I think all affiliates have more animated emote slots. But I don't know like what other 
animated emotes I can make. So I don't want to do any animated ones. I mean, like, drawn animated. I only want screenshot ones. Because I haven't had it- I haven't added any new emotes for about a year, but, like, I think my catalog is pretty solid. Because the channels that have, like, 50 sub emotes, I swear to god, nobody uses them all. Because when I think of Twitch emotes, I want them to be versatile. Like, I don't want them to be too niche. Because I want people to use them contextually. I'm glad you got the discount. I would have been really mad. If you didn't, not just mad. <laughs> Love your emotes, thank you. I go back and edit most of my streams. And in a lot of my Animal Crossing VODs from like a year ago, I talk about like streaming. And like it's fine to talk about it. But the way I talk about it, <laughs> I'm not like cocky. But I just feel like I talk about it like I know everything, but I don't. Like if I knew everything, I'd be popular, right? But I think it's because I watched a lot of stream content before I started. I just spat. Ew. Clippers don't clip. It's because I, wa I watched a lot of stream content before I started. So I kind of feel like I understand the vibe that I want. Because you'll see with a lot of people who stream, they don't watch stream content, so they don't get it. Or you see a lot of non-creatives start streaming, and they're like, I don't know what to do! I have no ideas! And it's like, bruh. Why'd you enter a creative field then? It's like kind of going to college and not knowing what your major is. You're just wasting your time, little bro. And your money. I've seen a few, like, people post on Twitter that streaming is just an MLM. <laughs> Which, um, don't be mean. Like, that's, like, insulting me, so, like, they're being mean. But, like, it's kind of true. All the people I see doing, like, Twitch tip content... It feels like, I want you to be a streamer, that way you can plug me or buy the products that I'm shilling you right now. And honestly, streaming is very expensive. Like, having a PC set up that can stream, capture cards, internet. In order for me to stream my internet, we had to upgrade to a plan that's like $50 more. Because we have unlimited upload. And download. Because most standard internet plans I've seen will just have like 5 upload speed, but you have to have at least like 10. And also the amount of internet you use is crazy! The first- <laughs> I didn't know any of this. So like the first month I streamed, I streamed like 60 hours. And our internet bill, because it was charged per- I don't know what the unit of measurement is. Also, second tree done, pog. Um, but my my dad's internet bill was like an extra two hundred dollars the first month because <laughs> we didn't have an unlimited upload or download speed. It was just like like how much you actually used. He was so mad, <laughs> but he got a partial refund because like he was fake being sad on the phone with the operator, <laughs> and it worked. He got like fifty dollars credit. You know what, that is a strat, just faking being upset. Okay, not mad. 
Big difference. Like being sad about a purchase? Just do it. The internet should be free. I think so too. And... But let's also think of it this way. Which commodity is free? Is anything free nowadays? Like, food is not free? Water is technically not free. Electricity is not free. No basic human right is free. Isn't that crazy? Think about it. Access to certain things are free. Like, you have access to, like, public water fountains. You have access to public spaces to use electricity. You have access to internet, like, at the library. But it's not your innate right to have certain things, just to have. So the internet should be free, but along with a lot of other things. And it should not just be free for brokies. Like, I think... Basic human needs should be free to everybody. Because I think for our local, like, what you call it, food banks, it's income based. And it's also like when you sign up. So it's like whoever signed up first gets it first, which makes sense. So, like, if your household income is too much, then you're ineligible. I don't know if that's how it works in different cities, but that's how it is in my city. But also, it's like a really big fucking city. Freaking! I live in a really big city. It's not like New York. It's not as big as Seattle, but it's still pretty big. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that voice was. I think... No, like, legit... I think utilities, like water and electricity, should be free. Um, because, like, you need electricity f to, like, keep your food, like, food safe, like, frozen or fridged. You also need electricity for heat. You need electricity for access to information, like, on your computer or your phone. I don't think it's... I don't think it should be legal for people or the government to turn off your utilities. Because, you know, there were a few times when we were little where, like, my dad couldn't afford to pay the water bill, so we wouldn't have water for a day or two. Big L. But I don't think they should be able to turn it off. They should just, like, be like an IOU. Be like, Alo bro, you missed a month, just pay it back next month. Don't do it again. But then, like, what would prevent people from not paying? Then they should just make it free. I don't know. If I were president, I would put soda in all the water fountains and I would make electricity free. You know, I gotta please the adults and the middle schoolers. Dude, I know like, ooh, I'm gonna put soda in the water fountains was like a joke in some like diary wimpy kid books. But some of the kids at my middle school like actually promoted that like they put that on posters and they got in trouble with like the principal because you know that was when obama was president so you know miss obama took away our took away our soda and gave us milk School lunch, school lunch, school lunch was never the same. Okay, Obama became president in 08, right? So I would have been in fourth grade. I have like no memory prior to fourth grade, so I just remember school lunch tasting like shit. It always tastes like shit. The only thing that was kind of nice is that there was like more fruit. That was kind of cool. But I think the biggest L was I was... I went to school in Hawaii, 
in 2007. So like right before Obama was president. We did like a little mock election. <laughs> and I don't know if I told this story before. Um, so we did, I was in fourth grade, so we did like a little mock election in class. Oh wait, it was for if Obama got re-elected, I think it was, because that would have been... No, it was 08. Was I 9? Oh yeah, I was 9 in, in 4th grade. Okay, anyway. So we did like a little mock election, and it was in Hawaii, right? So there was a lot of uh, local people. And there was like... <laughs> okay, for context, I'm brown. I'm, I'm Asian Hispanic. <laughs> okay. Um, and there was like two white kids in the class, and they were like, oh, because we did like a, it was Romney or Obama, right? So they were like, they were telling me, they were like, oh, I have to vote for Obama. I don't want to look like I don't like non-white people. And this was when we were in like fourth grade. It was so funny. Anyway, that's another tree done, any percent. Three out of four. Um... So, like, we went to school in Hawaii, and, like, literally the lunch ladies would be, like, kids' moms. So they would make, like, dead ass, like, just their homey foods. Like, we had such good chicken, such good, like, everything. And I bet, once Obama became president, all of that went away. I bet that happened. I left, like, three months into the year, because I moved back to Washington. I remember we got ice cream bars. What? We never got that. Okay, I'm, granted, I went to a very poor elementary school. Like, I think ours was the poorest. Because I don't remember when this executive change happened. But this is standard for most districts. But it was very prevalent in ours. Depending on how the students did on testing, like the scores, it would dictate how much funding they get. So, basically, if your school students, like, just failed, you would get, like, less money the next year. Which, I think is dumb, because if you have less funding, then you have, like, less money for teachers, less money for, like, extracurriculars and activities. Like, less money for supplies, so, like, that will indirectly lead to, like, more disparity, right? It's dumb. I don't know if they still do it now, I think they do. So, our school, we never got ice cream bars. That was out of the budget. I think the closest thing we had to ice cream was during field day, they had like shave ice, and that was cool. But it was like, they didn't like make the shave ice fresh, they put it into little cuppies. So they gave it to us frozen. So it would be like, it'd be hard. It wouldn't even be shave ice anymore. The only thing I like about the changing school inches is that, like, I agree that there should not have been candy bars in the vending machines. Like, that was honestly a dub. What was still an L, though, is that they considered tomato sauce a vegetable. Like, that is, like, so counterintuitive. Because, like, even if they had veggies or fruits available, they weren't, like, good. So, like, I would just have a pizza, and that's it. Pizza and milk. And I wouldn't have to grab a veggie, because the tomato sauce was a veggie after Obama. I heard something about our county being the richest in the state, but I don't know if that's true. I think they're saying that. Just to, like, boost your ego. Because the things... Okay, so the things that typically will dictate how much funding your district gets for each school will be either test scores, how much the population is taxed, and then also like your state, how much they allocate towards the county. So that's why a lot of people who live where properties are nicer, where the general demographic in that area is more wealthy, that's why the schools are typically better because they a lot of property tax will go towards schooling. So it's another instance of like people living in poorer areas getting cooked even more.
I think like your best bet is just to like not go to school. I'm kidding. Go to school. Stay in school, kids. If you don't get your GED, you, you, you're like fucking yourself, like genuinely. Cause like if an employer sees that you don't even have a GED, bruh, they're gonna think you're dumb as hell. <laughs> And I heard, in some states, they're like lowering the value of your GPA. Cause like, kids are getting fucking stupider. Which is a fault of the parents, let's be honest. I think it was Florida, where like, now an A is what's considered- oh Wait, a B grade is considered an A, like the actual numeric amount. Like, everything is just scaled up one. Cause otherwise, too many kids will be failing. I don't know, I saw it in a TikTok, it must be true. I think this is gonna take more than three hours. But you know what? I'm here for the long haul. of these trees are done. I think. Yep, that's all of those ones. Next tree. Pienzo okay. <laughs> I think that. Honestly, think because since the majority of the green pens I actually have are more dark, I should do the trees that have more white space, lighter. So I think in order to brighten this up, overall we're gonna do this one, or this one, with the garland and the circle with the dashes, a very light green. Because there's one, two, three, four, wow there's five, that's a lot. So that these trees take up a lot of space on the actual page. Because I don't want this to look too dark. I want it to be bright. Like a diamond. Rihanna. I actually hate that song. I don't know why. I think it was just like too... It was played too much. Whenever it comes up in my recommended, I skip it. Easy. One tree done. Another one. DJ Khaled.
That's two. One for me, one for you. I'm trying to be a rapper. <laughs> Imagine. I start my SoundCloud arc. You could be a rapper? Wait, I, I can do... No, I can't. I can't. I was gonna, like, try... What's the classic Eminem song? Uh... What's it called? I know what it's called. Rap like Dr. Seuss? One fish, blue fish. If I could only have one wish. Oh, I didn't see it. Mic drop. Rap God! That's the song. How can I forget? If you want to have a good time, look up Rap God cover most recent on YouTube. It's... It's just a bunch of people <laughs> singing it really bad. If you ever said... Look on YouTube. Rap God cover sort by most recent. It will make your day. Tree number three. I did have a beatboxing phase in, like, fifth grade. It's because I watched this one remake of a show. I, think, I don't remember what the show was called. But it was on PBS. And all the characters would, like, sing or beatbox everything. All their lines. So I would just be like... And then I would say that's beatboxing. The most recent one on YouTube is a toothbrush AI version. <laughs> No, I guess- no, wait, you can, like, kind of make a toothbrush sound like a maraca in post. You know, like, ch 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 I'll say it, I think AI covers should be banned. I don't think people should be using others' voice or image without permission, and I- AI covers are kind of scary. They're, like, too good. Another thing I was thinking about the other day is it's kind of like an unknown fact that with new technology, like the government or the military has it for a few years and then they release it to the public. Like, everybody knows that. Tree number four. So, does that mean the government, like, had the possibility to make AI or was that just, like, fully open source? I I'm clueless. I don't know. I'm just glad that, like, most AI stuff that people make is, like, fun. It's like Obama playing Mario Kart. Like, that's fun. 
Thank thankfully, nobody has made anything, like, bad. What I do appreciate, though, is that most social media will require you to, like, tag if the post has AI-generated content. I like that filter. I think I've seen that tag on TikTok and Instagram, I believe. Because then I think that's another way to tackle, like, misinformation. Almost done with tree number five. Live split update. All of the neon green trees are complete. can make your day complete following the channel because guys we are 30 minutes or another 30 minutes in the stream so if you're new here click follow you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat wow also i just realized we hit our sub goal earlier no i will not do a sub only stream after this but maybe later in the week i'll do a sub only so thank you x decision for hitting the goal today I'll do another- I'll do a sub-only stream later in the week. Maybe Saturday. Smile. Cause tomorrow... What's the plan for tomorrow? I wrote it down. No narcs. Plan for tomorrow? Naughty or nice stream with a special surprise? At the end? Naughty or nice list on Saturday, Winter Wishes, and Santa Watch on Sunday. I might do two separate streams. That's the plan for the rest of the week. So maybe... What am I doing Saturday? Saturday is Santa's list. So maybe I'll do a sub only in the evening on Saturday. Deal? Peace out, Touche. Because tomorrow... Yeah, tomorrow will be like a mid-length stream, but I need to edit tomorrow. You know, I'm, I'm trying to pump out YouTube content every week. I haven't missed a week for, I think, three months now. Guys, exclamation YouTube in chat. Make sure you're subscribed. Okay, let's see what should I do next. I think I kind of want to work on the trees that have a lot of empty space. So this one, since I already did another tree that has the light green, I'm going to fill in the majority of the tree with the medium green. Or the light medium green. Dude, I love having a lens. It's so cool. I can't imagine not having a DSLR. Like, all the people who buy, like... Wait, should I say the brand? <laughs> what if I get a sponsor in, like, five years and they find this clip? Nah. Like, all the people who get, like, a Logitech camera... Like, it's fine, like, it, it's fine for streaming, but, like, it doesn't have a lens. It's just, like, it's just a, it's just a basic-ass webcam. I don't even think you could do, like, selective focus. I think it's fully autofocus. Okay, I don't know. I might be slandering. But I, I think it's worth to get a DSLR. Then you can use it for, like, photography. It, it has a viewfinder, so, like, you can actually, like, see yourself. Just get a DSLR. Because if you're gonna spend like a hundred to two two to if you're gonna spend a hundred to two hundred dollars on a piece of equipment, I'd I'd honestly rather save up and get a more expensive one. And if you want like an intro to a DSLR, the Sony has a Sony V Oh Sony V Z or something. It's like a specifically a, D, a basic DSLR made for vloggers. The only gripe is that 
the lens doesn't detach. I think the, the cheaper version is like $400. So like honestly, save up to get that. The only bad thing is that the lens doesn't remove. It's a stationary lens, so like... If you break the lens, you're cooked. You have to get a whole different model. Um... For people who don't know cameras, the lens is basically like typically a removable attachment. It, it's it's the barrel of the camera, like a barrel of a gun. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's you can remove them and like get custom lenses. That way you can have select different types of focus or like different levels of zoom. That's how like you see like super high detail. And like super up and close and uh, close and personal shots of like animals, they just have like a really crazy lens. View number one done. That's why if you're gonna get a DSLR, make sure you get one that has a detachable lens. Don't ever get one that the lens doesn't remove. It's totally worth paying the extra few hundred. Because, thankfully. I have a Sony A6400. I got it through college. It was part of my tuition. Because how their program worked, uh, they would give you a laptop, a camera, and then some other equipment. A drawing tablet, too. But it was a really shitty one, so I got my own. So it was basically just part of your tuition. And it's cool because you get to actually keep the equipment when you graduate. Very pog. So... I have this DSLR for myself. But thankfully, the model that they gave out, the lens removes or is detachable because there was one day, it was almost a year ago. Damn, I've been here for a year. I love having roommates. No, genuinely, I do. They're all pretty chill. No, nothing crazy has happened yet. Um, I accidentally knocked over my camera and the lens was like, fucked it didn't retract at all so i went to the camera store i went to like a local one because you know always buy independent or local whenever you're buying tech because they'll usually give you better deals and they're like more likely to actually like look out for you and give you like a better product so i walked in and they're like yep your lens is cooked <laughs> and i was like shit because if there's no lens then your camera is basically useless So they were super nice because the lens I bought was a it's a 135 to 18 a 3.5 to 5.6 slash 18 to 135 it was $300 but the lens originally was like $600 and then I was like because I told them the story and they're like damn that sucks and I was like yeah it's my school camera and I need to use it for homework and I can't get a new one and I can't borrow wood because my school's out of state. Okay, I didn't cry. I, I said it normally. And then the manager was like, hey, I'll give you it for 300. Take 300 bucks off. I was like, <gasps> he was like, you gotta buy it today though. I'm like, <laughs> so I scammed them out of $300 with my crocodile tears. But I didn't cry. But I got really lucky. I'm definitely gonna go back to that shop whenever I wanna get a new camera. Okay, tree number two done. Cause also the staff was all really nice. Cause like, I hate going to like a Best Buy. And you can tell when like, you ever go to a store that's meant to be a, a specialty store and the worker just, like doesn't know what they're talking about. That's why, in my opinion, it's a lot better to go to an independent shop for, like, if you're buying, like, a wear or a craft or, like, something tech-related. Because then you know that the people work in there or the owner, like, is passionate about the product. You know what's cool is that that camera shop offers camera lessons. I, I think it was, like, 60 bucks an hour or something. So once my sister has time, she's gonna save up to get her own camera because like she wants to 
she's not gonna vlog she just wants to like learn how to film and take pictures properly that whenever she goes on like trips she can like actually like take nice pictures so she's gonna save up for a camera and then take a few classes at that place I know business cards are kind of lame but I still have that shop's business card and it's been a year I think right wait I think I still have it it's like the only business card that I, I told myself that I should keep. Even though like I know where the shop is. I, I can just go to the shop. <laughs> Wait. My dad is the type of guy to like keep every single pamphlet in every single business card. Like his wallet is no joke like six inches thick from all the business cards that he carries. Because you know you gotta maintain those connections. Tree number three complete. One more tree left of this one. You know, it's fun. I just came up with the best joke slash commentary ever. You know how artists have been complaining about people stealing their art for, like, literally the existence of the internet? And, like, their- the thing they would say was, like, don't screenshot. Don't screenshot my art. Valid. You know. Don't screenshot people's art. And then all the NFT bros, when they're like, don't screenshot my NFT, that's stealing, that's stealing. When I bet like half of their NFTs are like st stolen art. It's like now that you know how it feels. But now it's just like their currency that means a millionth of a penny and not their actual hardware. Okay, my line work is getting a little bit sloppy. But I, I haven't made any drastic mistakes yet. It's just a little bit of overlap with the coloring. It's not like I've gone like this across the whole page yet. Okay, we're getting there. I have about two thirds of the actual trees colored in. The remaining are these swirly ones and then the vertical lines so a lot of darkly filled in trees so since these trees are more fine liner i think i'm going to use the finer point My foot fell asleep. It's so distracting whenever it happens. Okay, back to work. No more time off task. I work for Amazon. I'm gonna do these vertical line ones first.
I think I'm gonna alternate the lines. And then the stripes across, I'll do gold. I feel like the presents are going to be like 10 times harder than the trees. And not like a fun type of challenge, more like a grueling type of challenging. I looked up. <laughs> I looked up thinking my face cam was on. Dude, I hate those. Because even when I play games offline, like if I want to play Mario Kart, because I still have to turn on my computer for my Switch to work because everything is plugged into my capture card, like I'll still look up at where my face cam is. <laughs> and I'll, I'll roll my eyes. The last time I played Mario Kart on stream was for the, I think it was last Saturday, for the Only Playing Snow levels, and I don't think I said anything during the live, but there was one moment where, like, I messed up a line, and I, like, I put my hand into a fist, and I, like, hit my thigh, and <laughs> the, like, the slapping the table or slapping my leg bit, I think, has gone too far, because it, it genuinely hurt. I did not bruise myself, but I think... If I keep that bit going, I will bruise my leg. So I need to stop doing the bit whenever I mess up. It's bad. I remember that one time I did that bit. I think it was during an art stream where like I messed something up and then I like hit the table and my sister texted me. She's like, are you okay? Because I don't, I don't hit things normally. Like I'm not, I don't have that type of vibe. Like, that's only a stream bit, but I was like, I need to stop. It's not a good bit. Tree number one complete. This green doesn't look as blue, but it's slightly more- it's like a- It's like a dark, dark turquoise. But it's still green, but it's a very bluey green. trees are actually pretty good I think it's because for this tree it's just like a single straight stroke I'm really good at I'm not saying it I'm really good at when I just have to like drag my arm down or just do one single motion like doing a curvature I think takes a lot more skill than drawing straight I'll say it the bit is becoming too real I know it's bad but you know what is good, I'm able to, like, recognize that it's bad. Because, like, I don't ever want to get to a point where, like, I start smashing shit. You know, that's obviously far ahead than, like, hitting the table, but that's the track that I'm heading on if I don't stop. And the first step to addiction is being self-conscious.
Oh, I hate this. Look. Okay. Whenever you're doing illustration, you have to make sure your lines line up whenever there's overlapping elements. So see how right here, the bottom, because this I assume is the tree, right? Right here. Why? Where are all these lines coming from? This one lines up? This one maybe? Maybe? Like, they don't, because these lines are too straight. They should be a bit more curved out, because right here would be the widest part of the tree, so that's where the sections would be the widest, because see how they get kind of skinnier towards the outer edge? I hate when they lack consistency. Don't just put random lines. They have to, like, actually line up. Anyway, that's my rant. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. If I had to give a TED Talk, what would it be about? Your mom. <laughs> okay. Easy. If I were to make a coloring book, I think I would do floral or fauna. I think it's because fauna is like the easiest thing to draw. I think also fauna has the most interesting shapes. Because they're all, there's not a lot of straight lines, it's all organic. Organic meaning non-straight. So gauge. But then I also feel like flowers are like so basic. Okay, tree number two complete. Well, there's one like hidden here. See? Why is it that far in the back? Looks weird. They should have put this tree higher up and then swapped it out with this one. Bad design. Be good. Oh, the stump on this tree has a brick texture. That's weird. Or interesting, it's interesting. Another tree complete. I've yet to have the ink bleed on my wrist, so that means I'm not sweating. Thumbs up.
Final tree complete. Or final tree of this type. Okay, this is coming along really nicely. Wait. I just realized there's two types of trees left. There's this one. It has like... It's the same shape as these swirlies. But this one has like a... Overlapping garland, this one does not. Oh, there's two left. Damn it. Thought I was done. You know who else is done for? <laughs> the non subs. Because, guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, until the end of the month, all new tier 1s and raised subscriptions are up to 25% off. Pog, click subscribe now. Okay, get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Smile. I'm also gonna grab more water because since I'm doing an activity that I'm like I have to sit and face down I need to get up and like walk a little bit because for today I put my water across the room gotta get my steps in Because whenever I paint, I usually take a, like, a five-minute break every hour. But painting is, like, a bit more extenuating on my hands. I wish... Like, you know how in kindergarten, in first grade, they have pencils that are, like, this thick? I wish they had paint more paintbrushes that had a, a larger handle. Because having to grip something very small for a long period of time is not good for your fingers. I did buy one, like, really thick handled, tiny, fine detail paintbrush the other week. So I'm gonna try that out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to think of how I'm gonna color this. So. I think for these two, since these are on the outer edges, I kind of want the outer edges to be a bit more darker anyway. I'm going to go in with my two darkest greens and alternate for the lines. And then for these three, since they're more in the center... I think I'm going to go in with my two medium greens. And I will be using the fine liner for all of these, I believe. Since there are a lot of like long horizontal or vertical lines. 
start off with this bad boy. Because these trees already look darker anyway because the lines are so close together. So I'm going to kind of lean into that look by using the darker greens. Kind of similar to the lighter greens having a lot more negative space. Or, yeah. Or now positive, but they had a lot of negative space earlier. Because whenever you're doing a design that has a lot of line work in it, you have to be mindful of how when it's colored and then also when it's not filled in it'll look. Like which parts of consciously will look lighter or darker than others. Okay, I have to turn this one sideways. It's I'm not as good as dragging my pen down as I am across. Oh, it's hard to see where these lines line up. Oh, they don't like they don't perfectly line up. Similar issue to that other tree we had. Scam. The fine liner on these pens, they're not a felt tip. It's the kind of hard plastic tip like you see on the ultra fine sharpies. So you can't press too hard. These look the most like actual wood grain though. I don't think I like this line texture for the actual trees. It's too dark. I think these have been the easiest to color so far though, because I like I like fine point tips better than brush. You have a lot more precision.
Okay, that took forever. But I did it. Now for the other color. Jeez. Okay, these greens are too similar. I'm now realizing. That's too late. First tree done. On to the next.
Okay, for some reason the lines go at a diagonal. And they should just be going straight down. Another inconsistency in the line work. Very bad. Go home and cry dad. second tree done getting there I'm trying to think of which greens I want to use for the last trees Just the way these are laid out, this is a lot of dark. I think I want to do the two mediums. Because it'll be the same color as this one. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll commit. You may notice I'm starting coloring at the outer edge. Because since there's a lot of line inconsistencies in this illustration so far, I don't want to alternate on the inner ring. Because they skipped a line here. So there's probably going to be more line skipping later on. Yep. They missed a line here as well. It's kind of hard to see. But... Because these are like cascading lines, right? So for every line, there's two strokes. So there should be two 
four, six lines in here, but there's only five. See how there's like two of the same color connecting? L. L! That's why I usually tend to color the areas that have a bit more surface area first. Because that's usually where the illustration work is a bit more consistent. In general. And it could be they just didn't want to put more lines here. Because if they put more lines, it'd look subconsciously more dark. Or it could just be like, they didn't think about it. Because even if you're doing like doodling, especially Zen Doodle, usually just like haphazardly put strokes or lines down. But if you're gonna make a shape or a form, in order for the- because the form is like the- how it looks cohesively in like a 3D space. So, this cone shape looks round because they put curved lines, so it gives it a subconscious round form. So whenever you haphazardly put lines incorrectly, it ruins the form. Or the cohesiveness of the actual shape that you're making. I went to art school. Don't worry, when I make my coloring book, there won't be a line missing. I'll have like five editors make sure. This is going to look so wicked when it's done. See, weird. Why aren't the lines touching here? That's like the only place in the whole illustration where those lines aren't touching. That means they copied and pasted! Well, do better.
Now that I'm thinking about it, why did I choose, like, the most detailed one for the first coloring page? Almost done. There we go. Okay. First of these three are done. Jeez. <laughs> There's so many. I should have done these at the start. Because this requires a lot more precision. But you know what, it's fine. Who thinks I'm going to get down in 30 minutes? Tab one. So much left. Oh my god. I did commit to stream ends when I colored this page. Looking back, I shouldn't have. I wonder if AI can make coloring pages. Because coloring pages is primarily line art, right? Because I feel like AI just mimics. And it always has like some... Like the look is just hyper realistic. It... Like nothing looks... Like it's drawn. Everything looks like it's photoshopped. And filtered. Yep, this one's off too. Cool.
I'm tired. You know what else I'm tired of? Not getting followers, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Ain't no way. And if you're already following, turn notifs on, that way you don't miss a single stream. There's no way I'm getting done. What time is it? Four o'clock? Uh-oh. This might be bad. I'll get it done. I think the presents are gonna be a lot easier than the trees. So don't worry. Missed one? I'm rotating it this way so it's a bit easier on my hand. Another tree done. One more tree. Final tree. Get ready to spam. You were here when I get the final freaking tree done. Holy.
Okay, light green is done. Almost done. With the trees, not the whole page. Don't worry. Just one. Oops. The good thing I put the abandoned on earlier. So if I didn't, I for sure would have a bruise. Gotta be proactive when you work. Be prepared for the worst. The worst today could be a bruise. Okay, tree bristles are done. All that's left to do for the trees is coloring the stumps. Finally, I can put these greens away. Holy. Now, which brown? It's kind of like a yellow brown. Oh, that's too orangey. Orangey? But I think I want to do the stumps all the same color. This is probably the closest to what I want. Ooh. This one's like a red brown. 
I think this one is too dark. It looks too much like black. I'm leaning towards the red brown. Like a burgundy. Yeah, this one is even darker. I think this one is too red. I'm honestly leaning towards this one. I kind of like how it's bright, because the presents are going to be bright. Okay, the colors look a lot more warm on camera, because I have a color correction on. So this one looks... I, this looks red on camera, but this one is like a very subtle brown. I think I'm going with this one. It's more muted in person. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna do any fancy patterns with the stumps. They're just gonna be brown. Because stumps are brown. Because there aren't many stumps in the picture. The stumps also kind of blend in. Oh, I realized I missed some of the scales on that tree. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So I thought they were presents, but it's still scales. Oh my god, Mario Wonder! I almost also missed a line here on that tree. I'm gonna be seeing all my mistakes now since I'm doing the present soon. I missed a line here. Okay, I think that's all the stumps. I'm gonna leave the brown out just in case. Okay. I think officially, all the trees are done. Two minutes, or two minutes, two hours and 30 minutes. Holy moly. And now time for presents. Oh wait, I didn't do the baubles on the tree. Okay, tree is not done. I lied.
So I have a like true red and then a bright red. I'm gonna do bright red on all the lighter trees and then a true red on all the darker trees. And I'm still gonna do garlands at the very end because I think I wanna do the garlands gold and then the bows on the presents gold as well. The bows and the ribbon. Yeah, let's color in the globes. <laughs> now some of the globes have patterns within them. So if they do, I'm gonna do primary color, the bright or the dark, and then the opposite color. But I still want, for the lighter trees, majority to be the bright red, and then for the dark trees, majority to be dark red. Or, yeah, majority to be true red or dark red. So this one, inside section is bright red, outer border is true red. Okay, these next to each other look very similar. Very subtle difference. Okay, these circles, I'm not going to count as a garland because I don't want to have that much gold on the trees. I'm gonna make these ribbons red.
on camera, the red is so bright. <laughs> It looks icky, but in person it looks cute. When this is done, I'm selling this page for $10. Starting bid. Final bid, um, a million. I'm just gonna keep saying going once, going twice, and then going to like the like, literally infinite number. Until it hits a milli. No joke. Oh, that's so out of the line. Ew. Almost done with the bright red. Now time for the dark red.
guys. I might have to make the executive decision. To run an ad. Because we are three hours in a stream. I seriously... I think I want to do the presents another day. I'm thinking about it. And my hands really hurt. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do SH on stream. My hands really hurt. I'll think about it. I'll see how I feel after the reds. Anyway, I have to run an ad. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe. Click subscribe. It's less than $5 if you're a newer tier one or a resub. And it's free if you have a prime. Ain't no way. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. And like, I'm genuinely trying to go fast. I'm not gonna be like a child and do this. Wait, imagine I actually did that with it open. Five subs and I'll tear this page right now. Dude, <laughs> please don't. Guys, don't. <laughs> hey, let me see if I can get like more true colors on camera. Let's see. Filters. My foot's asleep again. Does that look? Yeah, th this is a bit more true. Like on my normal camera? I boost the contrast and saturation. I love when things look bright. I learned that from Miska and Ludwig. Because people are attracted to brighter colors. It's like caveman brain thinking. That's why, like, a lot of media will use brighter colors if they want to grab your attention. Seems, like, pretty basic, but it works. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't think coloring pages are meant to be done in one sitting. <laughs> You're meant to do it for like 10 minutes and then give up. I hate the people who say, if you want to be an artist, you have to do it all day, every day. Like, you have to work yourself to the bone. And I know they say that, but they don't mean it literally. Like, you, you should not be working all day. Like, just because art isn't, like, laborious, it doesn't mean you're not working your body lesser. I mean, okay, you are, but, like, it takes a lot of brain power. And you don't want to, like, fry your brain. That would be sad. And also, like, I have to make dinner. I thought I would be dumb. I legit thought this would not take this long. Maybe I'm just slow in the head. That's what my mom called me. Anyway, that's for my therapist to know, not you guys. Okay, all the main globes are colored in. All that's left for the trees is to do the outer borders on these two. With the bright red. Oh 
I saw my pen tip along the bottom of my OBS preview, and I thought that was my cursor, and I was freaking out. And I thought it was haunted again. Nah, I'm joking. I've never been- I've never seen a ghost. If you see ghosts, go to a doctor slash SRS. Or see if there's like a gas leak in your home. It could be either. Or it could be both. Guys, hands down, trees are complete. I know some of the trees have garlands, but I'm going to do that with gold. And I'm not going to do gold to the very end, because pigment will smear. Oh, wait. Let me do a test. Because if it smears, then it's going to smear on the back of the page. Let's test it first, because maybe I can't do gold. Or maybe I just tear the page out. I put a little swatch down here. We wait. And we wait. While we wait for this to dry, let's get some close-ups. A little less than three hours. Honestly, this illustration is pretty good. I'll admit it. The red looks crazy on camera. <laughs> It's not the saturated, I promise. I'm not colorblind. Here, I'll post it on my Twitch story, guys. I'm gonna show my phone on screen. Well, now. Okay, don't show feet. Oops. Okay, this... Okay, that still looks wild on camera. This looks a bit more true on my phone camera. I'll post it on my story now. Let's see. Okay, I posted it on my story. Okay, I think the gold is dry now. Let's see if it'll smear. Hey, yo! Yo, it didn't smear. Okay, so that means I don't have to tear the page out. See, look, there's no residual on the opposite end. Let's do a little test and wiggle the page. Yo! It didn't smear! Because you know when you open and close the page, it wiggles? I'm testing durability. Okay, cool! Guys, I'm gonna stop here for today. I don't want to break my hand. And not in the fun way. This was chill. I liked it. I should have started this earlier in the month, <laughs> but I was stalling. Mainly because, like, it's really annoying, like, setting up the tripods, I'll be honest. But I did it. I should- I- okay, I need to go live on my art channel more. It's twitch.tv slash peacein underscore art. I think I want to buy, like, a normal coloring book and then color in that, like, once a week. You know, just chill streams. Just so, like, I go live on that channel more and get used to it. Because, like, I legit... I think what I want to do by the end of 24... I want to launch a coloring book. Like, I want to figure out how to produce it myself. I know Emmy has a printer. I can... Work with her on it, maybe. I want to make a coloring book. I think it's totally doable. Because... 
little secret. You make your illustration, import it into Illustrator, and then you make it into a vector. Meaning you can scale it to however big you need it to be. That way you don't get like pixelated images, because these, the, honestly, the print on this book is really crystal clear. Like there's no pixelization in the line art. It's actually a pretty good print. Okay, we'll pause on the book for today. We did get a resubscription, so we're gonna do the Rich People Journal. You know the drill. If you donate to the, <laughs> if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name. A new resubscription today. I'll use the new pen. Yeah, let me make sure I get the capitalization on your name right. Ooh, a Z? I love doing cursive Zs. Okay, the brush on these pens aren't as good. The tip isn't as sharp. They're decent, but better for coloring, not for actual calligraphy. Is nice i don't have any ink on my wrist for what it's worth these tan mitt pens hashtag not sponsored are pretty good if you want the link like i said they're not sponsored or not affiliate if you just want to buy the pens they're pretty good exclamation pens in chat i have the amazon link Once again, once again, thank you to Exorcision for the two-month resub. Thank you for the continued support, and I'm glad you got your discount. Any redeemers want me to write your name? Last call. Last call. I need to go make dinner. The kids are going to come knocking at my door. Like, peace and where's dinner? I'm so hungry. Okay. I think we can wrap it up here for today. Peace and light. I did not code the whole page. I got halfway done, though. Surprisingly, it took a lot longer than I thought. I think it's because I'm, like, genuinely trying to do good. You know, when people color books to, like, calm down, they don't try hard. I'm a try hard. I went to art school. Okay. Plan for the rest of this week. Tomorrow. Naughty or nice results. If you filled out the quiz or if you missed it, tune in tomorrow. Time is to be determined. <laughs> Saturday. What am I doing Saturday? Oh, Saturday is Santa's list. So exposing viewers logs. You have to watch the live if you want to participate in that stream. It'll be Saturday. And then I'll do sub only Saturday evening. Sunday, in the morning, winter wishes. Santa's helper will grant your wish. And then Sunday evening, so Christmas Eve, Santa Watch 2023, everybody. Loaded next few days. Okay, thank you all for watching. Thank you for any chatters and lurkers. Thank you once again to x Decision for the two-month subscription. Thank you. If you want more Peace In content, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. It is youtube.com slash at peacein17. 
weekly stream how this new video will be out on Saturday. If you want clips, make sure you subscribe to the Clips channel, daily YouTube shorts, and past stream clips, along with best of highlights. Go subscribe now. Do it. VOD Watchers YouTube. <laughs> um, last thing. I know some of these holiday streams had viewer interactions, so if you want to make sure you can participate and submit things for future viewer-related streams, like the Roasting Trees, or Winter Wishes, or Naughty or Nice List, make sure you're following that offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all of them. Do it. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Dude, my hand hurts so much. Are they blue? <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> wait. They're not blue, but they have like a slight green tint. Okay, so I did get a little bit of ink on my fingers. How would they get on my fingers, though? Not on my wrist? $50 on my wrist. That's not the lyric. 50 bands? Wait, I think it's 50 bands on my wrist. I don't know. I don't listen to Drake. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.